Alright guys, I'm still messing with this and uh, you saw I got, you know, I got my back and forth action, brake and gas, I got my left and right steering set up. And now I've got, I gotta make a way for the brakes to work. And uh, I'm thinking on the bottom of this, the bolts in here, I gotta have a heim joint to a piece of rod that can push the piston in on the master. And I also picked up another spring. I don't know if it's too big or too much tension or whatnot, but just the thought I had when I was at the hardware store where they didn't have any Heim joints. I had to go to my local Napa store and I ordered a couple. So I'll get those uh, tomorrow morning. And uh, I'm kind of hoping that this spring will, uh, once you uh, pull this back to the brake, it'll push it back so it goes back vertical. I'm concerned about trying to keep it as vertical as possible. So it doesn't bounce around in the car when I'm tra trailering, trailering I got it to uh, trailering. There's the word. Man, I just, I just I found it. There you go. Uh, I'm taking it, taking it to car shows and stuff. I don't want to bounce around in my trailer and beating the hell out of the paint on the inside. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, and I'm trying to do this with the. Uh, this is nothing exquisite. Uh, this is not a masterful piece of aerospace engineering. And it sure as heck don't look like it. But I'm trying to use up all the uh, bits and scraps I've got. So I've got here is this here. And well, I'll show you. Again, let's not forget, this is the next step that goes in the top. Because it steps from this to this to a, a three-quarter OD piece. Walk around my welding table. So this I'm going to try and machine up to fit in the, in the bum here, right in the bottom. And it'll come down, and I'm going to taper it. So it'll come down and it'll taper right to the, uh, the same size as the heim joint so it can articulate and move around. So that's what I'm going to have hanging down about an inch, and that's where I'll bolt. I'm sure Ed Roth didn't have a lathe and was able to make all this out of his scrap uh, bit, <coughs> excuse me, scrap bits of steel laying around. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to machine this all up while i got to wait for my heim joint to come in tomorrow and uh, get it all set up and drill it and I guess tap it and whatnot. And so we'll do that now. Alright guys, so for the bottom of this yoke, or whatever you want to call it, I've machined this up so far. And uh, I'll thread this for the uh, 5 16 18, and I've shouldered it so that heim joint can articulate that little bit off of this shoulder. What I'd like to do is, I had to machine this a little bit here to fit inside here. But uh, it's a kind of a, it, when I chuck this on my lathe, it wobbles a little bit. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put this in and weld it. And then I'm going to go ahead and this whole shoulder here, I'm going to taper this down to uh, clean it up and make it nice. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this some good tack welds, maybe three or four spots with the TIG. And I'll put this in the lathe and machine that, uh, machine that little uh, that angle on it. rod my junk pile and uh, it's got light green paint on it so I must have hung something up from my brother's Pontiac when I painted it but we're gonna shove this in here figure out how long it's got to be and that's as far back as that goes <laughs>
Man, I think that's pretty shagadelic, you know? So we got brakes, and uh, that's really all I'm worried about. Maybe I should shorten that rod up a little bit, but you know, it works. And while you have the brakes on, you can still steer from side to side. That's pretty neat, man. So, uh, I guess that's probably pretty much about where I gotta be. And what I'm gonna have to do, I guess, is fit it in the car and determine how high this has to be uh, off my transmission. Now, Roth had this mounted, he had a piece of wood laminated to the underside of the car in the training tunnel. But I think I'm going to uh, make a pedestal off the top of the transmission <clears throat> so I can button this all up and run the brakes and bleed the brakes and everything, it'll be a lot easier than having to do it with the body on the car. So that's what I'm thinking. But uh, yeah, I think I'm happy with this. Like I say, I may have to shorten this up a bit. I did get this spring to shove in here to keep this arm back so that rod doesn't come sliding out of the piston in the master cylinder. But uh, yeah, not too shabby. Let me uh, take a gander at this and uh, contemplate my next move.